This is North Korea's latest intercontinental ballistic missile, the Hwasong-18. It launched for the second time on Wednesday using something called solid fuel technology. Analysts say that tech allows the missile to fly far enough to strike targets in the U.S. And North Korea says it radically promotes its nuclear counterattack capability. But what exactly are solid fuel missiles, and why is the North developing them? Solid fuel technology allows missiles to launch with little preparation. It's dense, burns quickly, and uses less complex technology and weight than liquid fuel. The missiles also don't need to be fueled immediately ahead of launch, and the fuel itself can also be stored for an extended period without degrading or breaking down, a common issue with liquid fuel. Experts say countries that operate large-scale missile-based nuclear forces would seek it out over liquid. So what countries other than North Korea have this technology? Solid fuel has actually been around for a long time. The first time it was used was in fireworks, developed by the Chinese centuries ago. It's since made dramatic progress as the U.S. developed more powerful propellants in the mid-20th century. South Korea has said it also has it, though in much smaller rockets. But North Korea has put the technology on the forefront. So what does it intend to do with it? North Korea says the weapon is the core of its nuclear strike force and a warning to the U.S. and other adversaries. Kim Dong-yub is a professor at the University of North Korean Studies. He says if they fire a missile with 1.5 or 2 tons of warhead, it can reach all of the U.S. But putting the U.S. aside, he says the technology has cultural intentions. I think external factors are also important, but North Korea's biggest intention is using the missile launch to make an internal union, particularly after July 27th, which is North Korea's war victory day. It would be more than halfway past North Korea's five-year plan, so it is intended to demonstrate not only economic achievements, but also visible achievements in the military, security, and defense sectors. In Wednesday's test launch, Japan said the missile flew 74 minutes to an altitude of over 3,700 miles, marking the longest ever flight time for a North Korean missile.